Carol Watson is with us this Saturday morning with a whole bunch of indoor plants. And even if you recognize the names, you might not recognize the plants because they've hybridized so much that they, right. they really look different. Let's start with this pretty pink sure. one. Sure, this is um, Pink Princess. Oh, okay. Good name, good name for her. Yep. Yeah, she's got um, beautiful leaves. I'm going to hold this up um, a little bit. Quite a bit of variation. You'll yeah. see even some pink splashes on the lower leaves. Yeah, even in the leaves themselves, there's, uh, there's one that's half pink and half yeah. green, which and is kind of nice. You've got a beautiful red stem. Yeah, so, yeah. very nice plant. I've had one in my home for months, um, low light, uh -huh. and let it run dry Okay. as we keep repeating. Yes, yes. Dry is the key for indoor plants, right? Yes, it right? is. Yeah. Um, the one next to you is real pretty, That's too, That's pretty, Carol. too. Yeah, it's, it's quite similar, but this yeah. is an aglanemia. Okay. The same thing. Uh -huh. um, Does you know, it have a common name? Not that I know of. Okay. <laughs> and it has real pale pink uh, yeah, it's pink got seems to be a theme here. Pink veins uh -huh. and a, also a pale pink stem. So okay. that's a very pretty plant. And then we have a whole bunch of smaller plants in front of us yeah. that, uh, and sometimes smaller plants are easier to put in a right. place. Yeah, and there's yeah. a lot of different textures. Yeah, um, and colors. Right. Yeah. I've got some that trail, which are nice for coffee tables yeah. too. Pepperomias. Yeah. Okay. There's, a, I guess it's a pea family today. We've okay. got pemeromias, pilias. Plectranthus okay, over I there. Guess so, so yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, um, we have a viewer question that we want to answer. Sure. Um, we're of course inside, and the question is hydrangeas. Do you have to cut them back? What do you do at this point? Very good question. After our hard frost, which we have had, right? The big leafed, the macrophyllias, uh -huh. do get cut back. Uh -huh. Two or three buds. Okay. Okay. And then they need to be um, protected. So you would put actually the leaves, the stems around the plant. Okay. And then you're going to mulch it heavy. Uh huh. Um, to get it through the winter and get lots of blooms next year. Okay. Sounds okay. Good. There's other varieties. The big paniculatas, the ones that like the full uh -huh. sun, they really need to be just deadheaded. They okay. don't need to be cut back. Okay. So you have to know what kind you have and then you go from there. Right. Carol, thank you very much. Sure. Now, if you have a viewer question, just email us. We'll gladly get Carol to answer it for you. And Carol is also in Lafayette. Uh, you can call or email her as well.